Hey guys, welcome back to Greedful. This is part 22 and this is actually the last part of the first playthrough. After this video we pretty much finish the first playthrough and um, all we'll be doing after this one is playing through the game again just very very briefly just to get um, Aphra's Romance Trophy and that's it. And that's very quick anyway, it takes like 40 minutes, it's not long. Um, but yeah, in this one, first thing we're doing is a break in the links quest find Constantine's hideout so you want to be warp into the globe in the old mines camp in Glen Namva just so that you can warp to the east road in New Sereni otherwise that will not be available so yeah to begin breaking the links main quest go to the globe and then warp to the old mines camp in Glen Namva and then warp to the east road in New Sereni guys that will bring you here and then now we'll be closer to the objective you know about this anyway and um, we're still using melee I'm not I'm not sure if I'll pop the trophy I've not been looking. I mean, because I've been sort of adding commentary when it's needed, uh, I've been skipping through parts when it's not been needed, so I'm not sure if I'll pop the trophy or not yet. But yeah, still the same thing, you're still using melee anyway. You're on, dis you're on discovery difficulty, so your melee attacks will be doing a lot of damage still anyway, so even if you're still melee. But if you once you do pop the melee trophy, you could switch back to um, our gun build if you wanted to. Yeah, because lobbing potions, it will, it will kill enemies mega quick on Discovery. So yeah, if you want it, when you pop the melee trophy, guys, you can go back to our uh, pistol and um, throw in potions build. And it will speed up a lot of the fights, especially the, bob, the uh, boss fights and the fights with multiple enemies. Because your potion will like damage more than one enemy at once. Uh, yeah, so when you're here, uh, we're coming into the hideout and we're picking up the map annotated by Constantine. And Constantine's research notes, as you know. Yeah, once you pick them up, we're going to carry on with the Together for Tier 3 D quest. And the first thing we're going to do is convince the Noughts to participate. So if you don't have that quest currently active and that objective, you can make it active now. You yeah, remember Together for Tier 3 D, and you want to convince the Noughts to participate. So we're heading back to the globe, and we're going to fast travel to the port quarter. Uh, we're going to talk to the Admiral. We're going to ask her to join the alliance against Constantine. She will kindly accept. And then we're going to convince the coin guys to participate after that. So after convincing the Admiral, we're going to the coin barracks and we're going to go and talk to uh, Seglind upstairs and suggest joining the alliance against Constantine. And yes, she'll kindly accept as well. And then after that, we're going to do some... Uh, we're actually going to be doing a bit of another side quest now. Because in this one, we're actually going to pop two endings. Yeah, so head over to the coin barracks, guys. Talk to Siglind, and uh, I'll pick it up after that. Come closer, good people. This arrest is good news. Let's find the captain. Late. How? I have. I'm we need creeps of his eyes, but if you can, I'll. So after they join you, we're following the side quest now. Egon's face. Talk to Captain Ulrich. So yeah, the side quest. You should have it in your quest menu. Egon's face. Follow that now, and now we're going to the OM, which is still upstairs. It's through this doorway, these double doors just before the stairwell. Come in here, and there'll be a chat. And after the chat, you want to choose to leave. Yeah, choose to leave, and that will warp you to where we need to go automatically. Yeah, so there we go. Choose to leave, and that will warp you straight there. And when you get here, the objective first is to eliminate Egon's men in the old ghost camp. I think this is where I actually put the trophy as well for killing 300 humans. Literally like these are the last few humans we're going to be killing this guy. So if you, if you haven't popped it yet and you don't pop it here, 
you're not going to pop it without farming enemies in the challenge arena. But don't worry, if you've not got that trophy, it won't be many more that you need. So yeah, come in here. And uh, we're going to make our way to the northern single gate. And we're going to kill any enemies you come across. Because once, you kill the, once you've done all the objectives here, it warps you back to the entrance. Uh, but if you kill all your enemies outside before you go into the building, uh, you don't have to actually leave. It'll just warp you to the entrance from outside. Uh, sorry if I'm inside the top floor. Saving a bit of time. So yeah, kill the enemies here. I think there's three or four. And then come through this gate. Come down to the bottom here. Through this gate. Yep, obviously you don't want to let me in. Somehow the game is glitched and some enemies have got... Yeah, sort of... Their aggro is sort of glitched up, thinking I'm aggro to them, but I'm not. and won't let me interact with the gate. But once you do eventually get through here, guys... Yeah, there we go. Melee Virtuoso. Oh, I did get it. That's one for damaging 500 enemies with a melee weapon. Nice. Yes, yeah, so you've got four enemies over there, and there'll also be a few at the far corner as well. So kill all these, and this should be, once you killed all the enemies, you should finish that objective for eliminating Egon's men. Yeah, so you should be able to finish that objective before heading into the building. So just make sure you do that first, and then once you've done that objective, come inside the building, over here. In here, you want to examine the corpse in the cell next to stairs. Not that cell when you first come in, the cell near the stairwell. So come into this cell, and examine the corpse. Yep, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to go upstairs and kill the enemies on the next floor. Yeah, kill the enemies here in the front door. Before they scatter. Yep, once you kill them all, just unlock the front door, unbolt it. Yep, then you want to go to the southwest room. This one here. Kill the enemies inside. I think this is where I'll pop it. The trophy will get 500 enemy kills. Uh, sorry, 300. But what's weird is when I auto pop this, um, when I auto pop this safe, it pops the trophy automatically. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, come in here, and um, yeah, you want to get them. The um, list of names written in Egon, and also pick up the vial of poison. Pick them up. And they come upstairs. Once you come in here, you automatically arrest them. And then you also want to pick up a letter from New Sereni at the attention of Egon. And also the unfinished letter and the letter from Hikme at the attention of Egon. Once you picked up all them three items, it should finish all the objectives and it should warp you outside. Just like so. Yeah, it's, it's my other account where I got a trophy for killing 300 enemies there, human enemies. Obviously, it's a little bit different on the, on this one you're watching now. But yeah, once you walk back here, the next step is to um, go back to the closest campfire. And we're actually following the main quest, Break and the Lynx now. We don't want to hand that side quest in now. So that side quest we've just done most of the objectives for. It's almost complete, but we don't want to report it in yet. Very, very important, guys. Because if you don't finish that quest, you'll get a different ending trophy. But if you do finish that quest, uh, we'll get another ending trophy. There's pretty much a trophy for doing the good ending route. And also for completing every side quest. Well, almost every side quest with, a, um, with all the different factions. I think it's only really the last side quest you have to do. Yeah, we're following the main quest now. Breaking the links. Ask Dunkers for his help. So we're warping to um, Vig Yigidor. And what I'm doing now, guys, I'm actually just quickly changing back to our uh, potion throwing build and our fire firearm build. And I'm also going to be just getting my potions and stuff ready. You should know what we're doing on this because we've used this for most of the game. So I'm just going to skip forward a little bit just so I've got this build done so you haven't got to watch that. Just remember, when you come to the talents, you want to go 2 in Vigor, um, 2 in Intuition, 2 in Lock Picking, and 2 in Charisma if you do change your build back to this one. If you haven't got a trophy yet, though, you can't Melee Virtuoso. But yeah, once you're ready to go, guys, just come on back through here and uh, go and talk to Dunkus. And we want to ask Dunkus, ask him how to break the links, and he'll give you the seeds. And yeah, now what we're doing now is we're doing the breaking the links main quest, if you remember. 
So I'm just going to skip forward ahead of this in terms of commentary. I'll, I'll leave the video on, of course. So you're doing the breaking the links side quest, uh, sorry, main quest. So do both of them steps. You'll remember we've done this twice already. Just go through that again, guys, and we'll pick it up after we've completed the breaking the links main quest. Let's plant the seed dumper service at the base of the raised stone. Look, the plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donegarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. Dunkus' seed. Look, the plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donegarda of Dunkus' clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. Yeah, once you've done them, so we're doing them together for going back on to together for tier 3D. So you want to go back to your campfire and you want to fast travel to the D side A residence in San Matias. Now what we're doing, we're going over to San Matias, we want to convince, convince them to join us against Constantine. And then we want to go over to Hikme and convince the Bridge Alliance to join us against Constantine. And then after that guys, we're going to warp, well we're going to go back to our residence, but just talk to San Matias and Hikme, get them to join and then go back to residence and I'll pick it up from there because we need to make a very important auto pop safe when we get get back to residence ready to go and see Glendon. So do this step guys and I'll pick it up back in the residence.
Lady. And... And of course. <laughs> Do you know? That's bad no. They're just like fell. Yeah, so very, very important. When you get back to residence and you're ready to go and report back to Glendon of the impending battle after getting all the all the different factions to join us, you want to make sure you save your game. Very, very important. And make sure you haven't completed Egon's Face side quest yet. It's almost completed, but we do not want to report back yet. Yeah, make a auto-pop save. And make a point of this save. Even if you don't want to auto-pop, we need this manual save to reload later on and get another ending trophy. Very, very important, guys. So once you've done that, warp to where Glendon is. He's in Duhad Genidu in Dorgrid. And go and talk with Glendon and inform him about the arrival of allies. Now complete that quest and then what we need to do now is go to the globe and fast travel to any nearby camp, any nearby camp. And uh, then when you arrive at the camp, gather your teammates, that'll trigger a cutscene and spawn you on the last battle. So on this last battle guys, just make your way to the top, defeat the boss, and then when you defeat the boss, pick to kill Constantine, and that will pop a big step towards peace trophy. The entrance to the sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry. We are but humbled.
there you are. They were in. Yep, so here we are, right at the end, and a rock just fell on us both. We'll just walk it off. It bounced off us. Yeah, so when you pick Kill Constantine, you'll get a big step towards peace. That's pretty much the good ending, I think. Uh, as long as you make Dunkus High King, and then pick Kill Constantine at the end, I think that automatically triggers that trophy. Uh, but we need to get one more now, which is highly missable. So what you want to do now, you want to load that last that autosave we made back in the residence just before we had to go and inform Glendon of the impending battle. If you remember, so we'd convinced all the factions to join us in the battle and it's just before we warped to Glendon. So yeah, load that manual save back up that we recently made. And now what we want to do now, we're actually going to complete the Egon's Face side quest now. So you can make it active if you want, Egon's Face the side quest. And then you want to walk back to um, the D side A residence in New Sereni. And then when you walk back here, guys, we're going to go over to Manfred. We're going to report this quest. And it should update then to um, arrest the real Egon. Then all we do, we go outside into a training area and you kill him. And then that will finish the side quest, guys. You'll get reputation plus three of the coin guards. And you'll also turn to friendly with them. You don't have to be friendly to pop this trophy, by the way. You just have to complete this last quest with them. And I think you've probably got to be... I think you have to be nice or friendly. I mean, I'm not certain on that. I mean, I've not tried it for Suspicious. But Suspicious sort of leaves them hostile against you. So I'm just assuming uh, that would sort of void this trophy a little bit. But as long as they're nice or friendly, that's okay. A lot of guys say you have to be friendly or, you know, you have to be friendly. It won't pop a nice. But I think nice is okay. All you've got to do is make sure you complete the last side quest with every faction. And they have to be on nice or a buff. Yeah, so after talking to Manfred and updating the objective, come out here. Oh, there we go. Coercive diplomacy. Yes, yeah, so literally the last bunch of humans. How lucky was that? Yeah, I didn't lie before that in the um, in that camp was the last bunch. I forgot about these few here. Uh, but yeah, that is definitely the last bunch of humans. So hopefully it popped there. If not, you'll pop it in the challenge area, which we'll be doing at the end of this video. I'll be just be showing you how to clear up some trophies, which you may still need to farm for. Oh, actually, I'm going to do it now. Yeah, so um, if there's some trophies you haven't popped, just follow me into the coin arena. I'm taking a little shortcut here in the bottom of the coin barracks. I didn't realise I did it. I thought I did it at the end of the video. But I guess I did it. I do it before we put the last end in. Yeah, so come in here. I'm going to show you now how to grind all the um, any remaining trophies. So if you still need to do the coercive diplomacy uh, trophy for killing 300 humans, you're going to go on, on to the fifth challenge on round two and this is a nice easy spot to kill those humans yeah the fifth challenge round two and if you want to farm enemies you're going to keep doing the second challenge round two yeah and as you can see if you've got potion build it's very very quick to do all you do you just you drop down lob a potion it kills them all then you go back up talk to the arena uh, master again tell him what you want to do and just keep doing it yeah but like i say guys if you need to kill humans it's fifth challenge, round two, that's the quickest one. And if you need to kill monsters, the quickest one is second challenge, round two. Just keep doing either, either of them until you've got a trophy for obviously killing humans or the monsters. And obviously if there's anything else you need to do, you can do that here as well. But if it's a trophy for attacking with something uh, a certain number of times, for example, uh, doing damage 500 times a melee weapon, if you go into practice, the there's one opponent he, he can't die 
So if you go into practice, the opponent can't die. You can take all his health down, but he, he doesn't die. So with him, you can just repeatedly attack him and attack him. And any trophies you need to get in terms of inflicting damage, you do it really quick with a guy on practice. And yeah, that is about it. I guess if you still need two trophies for um, crafting 10 alchemy potions or crafting 10 upgrades, you could go to your workbench and you could do that now. Uh, you might have to respect your skills to do it to put some into science uh, but yeah but yeah that's it guys i'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit to where i'll pop the trophy so i think i have to do this i think i have to kill about an, an extra 70 enemies to pop the trophy so i'm just gonna skip ahead a bit to where the trophy pops this one here this is literally like three more rounds later so it wasn't long yellow monsters nightmare that's for killing about 600 monsters so once you've done that Yep, come to campfire, guys. And um, yep, now we're going to fast travel to the door. How to going to do camp? Uh, sorry, yeah, door. How to going to do camp in door grid? And we're going to talk with Glendon. Yes, come talk to Glendon. Obviously, tell him, inform him about the arrival of allies. Yep, and then you need to go back to the guy. Fast travel to a camp and then gather your companions to trigger a cutscene and again reach that final battle. So hopefully you've got every other trophy except for the one for romance in Afra, and um, the one, the um, a better world trophy. You should have every trophy except for a better world, um, the one for romance in Afra, and um, obviously platinum. You might not have the one for unlocking the three levels of a talent, so I think I'm not sure if I did that now or I think I'll do that later. You're unlocking the three levels of a talent, but it's very easy. All you've got to do is reset your skills with a memory and just put unlock all three levels of a talent. The reason we don't have it is because I've like unlocked only two levels and then I've used like a piece of armor to give me that other level. Now you've got un you've got to unlock all three of a single talent to put that trophy. Expertise that one is. But yeah, make your way to the top guys and I'll see you at the top.
But yeah, here we are, just about to pop the last one. So again, choose to kill Constantine, and there we go, a better world. Yep, that's the last ending trophy. So we've got them all. We've got all the trophies, guys, except for, like I say, the one for Romance in Afra and the Platinum, which we'll be doing in the next playthrough. Uh, like I say, it takes about 40 minutes. You might not have to won, I think, the Explorer trophy. That's for um, unlocking every campfire. But if you've got a DLC installed, you need to do the DLC area campfires as well to get that. Uh, but I will be straight after the last video for this finishes, the day after, a video will be going up for the DLC. So don't worry, the DLC will be going up straight after this guide is finished. And that literally takes about 45 minutes, the whole of the DLC. Um, but yeah, so that'll be it for the first playthrough, guys. Just got to do Afra next. Uh, so I'll see you on the next video.